Among all the climbing boards, Moonboard has been our favorite, and we spend a lot of time working on benchmark problems. I am only 5'1", or 155cm, and I struggle a lot because of my height, but I enjoy being creative through using really high foot and a lot of matching. Let's explore this fun climbing tool with us, and we would appreciate your beta suggestions especially for short climbers. Hi everyone, we're Sahan and Akane, a husband and wife climbing together in Indianapolis in the United States. A good proportion of our climbing and training is done on Moonboard, which is one of the most popular climbing tools developed by Ben Moon. We love Moonboard, and we always enjoy climbing on this super finger-intensive yet very powerful climbing board together. As many of you might know, a lot of Moonboard problems are reachy and require dynamic moves. I am only 5'1", or 155cm, so I enjoy the challenge and do a lot of creative moves because of my height, but I have to admit that sometimes simply not being able to reach is frustrating. In this video, I'm going to try some V6 as well as a few problems from V3 to V5. Let's explore this fun climbing tool with us, and we appreciate beta suggestions especially for short climbers. All problems in this video are benchmark, and we're using Moonboard 2019. I wanna do V6, so I'm gonna start with V3, gradually increase V4, V5, and then do V6. Sounds good. So I'm gonna try this V3, the hardest V3, according to Moonboard Maple. app. Maple. Maple. When you sort V3 benchmark by difficulty, this problem comes on top, meaning that this problem, Maple, is the hardest V3 benchmark. It doesn't have any reachy moves or dynamic moves, and it is friendly to short climbers as long as they have good lock-off and big muscle strength. What is it called? Um, Arbor's Blue Brush. Arbor's Blue Brush. That little pinch white hold and the like sloper kind of pinch are probably the hardest holds. Yeah, holds. yeah. And even the top, there is no good foot, so yeah. I might have to jump for it. The sloper pinch and tiny white pinch were not as bad as I thought. Nice. Better than I thought. Okay, now I'm going to do B4. Okay. Which I think is the second hardest B4, set by Ben Moon. Nice. The first move is very reachy, so let's see if I can get it. Yep. I sometimes miss the first move. The rest is pretty straightforward, but definitely harder than V3. Here, I'm using high foot. I don't know what's the intended beta here. Ben Moon should be proud of you. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty hard. <laughs> nice. Thank you. So this is another Ben Moon B4. Okay. And I think it's the third hardest B4. So. Okay. What is it called? Um, Le Diagonal. I don't know if it's French or... Okay. Going Diagonal. Yeah. <laughs> Have you done it before? Mm-hmm. I think I flushed this. Okay. Let's see if I can repeat yeah. it. Nice. 
you sent it, right? Yes. Yeah. Sahant wanted to try this as well. Compared to the previous Benmoon V4, this one doesn't have a big move, which makes you feel better. Okay, what's next? It's V5, final desperation. Okay. This has been our favorite V5, right? Yeah. You worked on this so many times yeah, and nice. it was a lot of process. Right. Want to brush it first? Yeah. Brush and crush. This is the fifth hardest problem among V5 benchmark. It has small pinches and crimps and brushing helps. The footwork is really interesting in this problem. High foot is critical for me to avoid dynamic or risky moves. Here, lock off comes into play to reach far left. And the final move, especially matching, is the biggest crux as the name suggests. Oh. Well, I think you should repeat that anyway, because you dab. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's okay, nice try. Thank you. You're honest, that's good. <laughs> Come on, keep the tension, come on. Come on, Akane, come on. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was awesome. Great job. Feeling good. Yeah. So I can't strong. believe this is V5. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the hardest, like yeah, 400. Yeah, it's one of the hardest. Yeah. Okay. What's next? So this one, I can't remember the name, but it's, in my opinion, the easiest V5, <laughs> which I hope I don't fall. Before moving on to V6, I'm taking a little rest and going to watch Sahan's bouldering a little bit. This route is harder than it looks. The first slopey hold is the worst and I had to work on the start for some time. I don't know how he is doing this so easily. This gym had a guest setter from Japan and this is the route she set. Her name is Tsukasa Mizuguchi and she is an IFSC international route setter. We had a chance to meet with her and she was a lovely woman and also a very strong climber. She brought in her international experience and we enjoyed it a lot. Now I'm going back to Moonboard and try some V6. So I'm gonna move on to V6. I'm going to try my favorite one first, long black hair. This one. I think the last move is hard for everyone, yeah. but it somehow works for my height and body. 
I think my height and flexibility help in this problem. Yeah. The first crux is this jump for short people. An average height can go static to the white one, then start swinging to the right foot. But short people need to jump and swing to the right high foot at the same time. But then here is an advantage to short people. I could easily do a split here, but Sahan couldn't do this move. As a consequence, he has to place his left foot here, where my right foot is. The right hand pinch is not the best, so that makes the finishing surprisingly difficult. But with this split, the finish is a piece of cake. So next I'm gonna do flowers for days, V6, another V6. I guess that's one of the first V6 I got. And I really like the move. I do really high foot, which I guess the normal beta doesn't work for me. So I guess it's interesting to see. So here, I have my foot here, and the next hand is this one. With the regular beta, I have to cut feet and this pinch is so tiny and not secure. So I better use the high foot to avoid cutting my feet and save the energy for the last jump. So the next one is actually the first V6 I got. It's called Dancing Barefoot. I do a lot of matching, which makes me feel like I'm kind of cheating, but I guess matching gets legal, right? Yeah, that's why, because I'm short, I need to be creative and using high foot and matching a lot. Because yeah. I have small hands, I can match better than you, maybe. So. <laughs> I think the right beta is to go left, right, cross, and right, but I match on almost every hold. It's not the most beautiful way to climb, but if you can send it, why not do it? So next I'm going to do Das Moon Hard, that is another V6, and it's all big moves for me, so I have to cut my feet every single move. And I can do all the moves except the final top part. Yeah. The last jump to the last hold is a big jump. And that's pretty common in moonboard. that I always struggle. So. Yeah, the last one with the very big moves. Come on! Yay! Nice! That was awesome. The connecting nice. moves is hard. <laughs> yeah, but that was awesome. That last one was really thank hard. Thank you, thank you. It definitely needs momentum. Yeah. Which, by the time I get there, I'm too exhausted to do that, <laughs> so... Yeah, Hopefully. for me, for me, the crux is like making those two pinch moves. Okay. Like the first one is okay, but then jumping to the next one, I I kind of lose. Yeah, yeah. I lose my momentum. Yeah. Like my hand is small, so I can get it. Right. Or you need to be tall enough to reach it. Yeah. Nice job. Thank you. So you've been crushing your favorite V6s, huh? Yeah. 
but those are my favorite. There are so many other basics that I can't top, and one of them is the missing link. Okay. It's actually your favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. Right? Yeah, and you top that beautifully, but for me, even the first move, second move, third move, every move is really hard as a short person. And maybe if you have any suggestions how I can do, beta-wise, I would appreciate it. Nice! Come on, Akane. That was the first time you stuck that yeah, move. Yeah, actually this first move is really hard. I don't know how many times I spend on yeah. this move. Nice! That was great. <laughs> But even if I get here, the next move here, you have your foot here. Yeah, I keep my foot on. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to put your left foot here, which is really awkward. If you're taller than me, you can simply reach. And then, even if you get here, the next move is really far. Yeah. Yeah, I put my right foot on the, the start hold, yeah, and then I jump to that. Nice, nice. That one is really hard. Like, this is way harder than the last three V6s I did. Yeah. So, this is another V6. I usually love yellow holes on Moonboard, and this is called Yellow Ladder, literally composed of all the yellow holes on Moonboard. This one, the first move is really far that I can't get. You got it? <laughs> I got it! You should, <laughs> you should have continued. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Come on. Yeah, nice. Come on, Akane. Let's go. I got the first move. Yeah, you got the first move. You didn't expect it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that. Because nice. I usually struggle there, but how much power and dynamic people, movie yeah. requires for short people. I'm happy I got the first move, but I guess the second move is another challenge. Right. So this one, Dynamoon, is another route that the first move is really, really far. What if you start with cross hands? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So how was your moonboard session? It was good. I think I got a few V6 and I tried a lot more so. Well, moonboard is always really fun and I hope it encourages short people to do moonboard as well. When I do moonboard, I make sure that I always take 4 to 5 minutes rest between my tries because it's so intensive to your body and fingers, so it's always good to take enough rest. Thank you for watching. If you haven't tried moonboard before, definitely check it out and I hope this video helped. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us.